it's always very complicated to answer this question because I don't know how much how much is the common base or the the common knowledge and uh, I don't know because there is there is one thing that is the feeling of a citizen or, or a general atmosphere there are the facts but the media is also like uh, manipulating everything not only here but also in other parts of Europe um, but the general feeling is that I think it it always misleading uh, when when we are blaming uh, the the politics, we are really not talking about the prime minister himself or the party, uh, but but we are talking about half of Hungary, uh, which lets this happen, and the other half which also lets this happen. So it's that's why it's it's complicated because we are talking about ourselves, but but the representation of it is is. The, the parties in the parliament. They are getting. They got stronger. So after 2010, when when the Orbán government, the second one, started, I had the feeling that the whole civil society got somehow a bit more active and stronger, and there was a bigger like coming together and making something together, getting stronger. But now that the third Orbán government started, I feel somehow a bit of uh, apathy. Like, okay, how long can it go? How long can we? Re-elect and re-elect this thing, and it's true that it's, that they give us a really hard time with all these things, like really lack of funding, a lot of uh, bureaucratic uh, burdens. You have to throw uh, jump over every day, so it's really, yeah, it's it's really a struggle. It's a fight. Mm, I think that I wouldn't say that there is democracy in Hungary, but there is no democracy in Hungary. Uh, and uh, it's getting worse and worse. And um, I think one one of the reason is the the passivity and the apathy of the people that I already mentioned. But also they are uh, because the the government is in power now. In the first uh, four years, when they had the two thirds of majority in the parliament, they, they changed all the laws in the constitution in order that it would be favorable for them. Mm -hmm. So when they, uh, you know, there are elections in every four years in Hungary, and uh, they just got into power in 2010, and in 2014 they just won the election with uh, a big majority, on because they changed the electoral law, and it was really favorable for them, and this. They just really uh, made for themselves a very, very strong position. And uh, if there's no, uh, the democratic rights or democracy is already uh, corrupted in the constitutional level, then uh, I'm really pessimistic that how, because you know, if even though there, there are other parties coming and they can get the power in, in the coalition or whatever, I really doubt that there would be another party of two, a third of majority, and that's the the only case where you can just change the, the constitution, which is really, you know, the basis of everything. And now the constitution is not democratic. And then the, the, not, the very, very bad thing now is that the only real opposition of the governing party, which is already very, very right-wing, the only opposition is the ultra-right, and there's no left wing now, so it's really just uh, so fragmentized that uh, not, there is no uh, other for political force. So I'm really, really pessimistic, unfortunately. Uh, one of the strategies of the government and the ministries and the local authorities that, uh, is the ignorance. So if they ignore what we are doing, then it's not important. So. If they start to forbid think, doing things, then it became more important. So it's a, it's a, from their point of view, it's a big, it's a good strategy because then they ignore what we are, do, we are doing, or not just we, but a lot of other artists or organizations. So it's not, it's not. Uh, I mean, it takes very long and a huge administration 
and uh, they don't give money so because they don't give money it's much much uh, more difficult to, to do anything but because I know organizing a festival for over 10 times I know the, this process uh, really they don't want any scandal because then they know that it's uh, just uh, draw the attention to what you are doing so it's better to not not uh, just uh, recognize it or realize that some, something is happening there. We finished uh, the connection with, with the government and because they start to kill this uh, this uh, yeah, so, how to, the independent scene? Yeah, the independent scene or the underground scene and all, not only just this culture, but they killed all the people's singing or the mind or this, lots of things. So I, uh, the most of the young people are going out of Hungary to, to London or Rotterdam or New York or somewhere else because they try to make the good life here. It's impossible. You have no chance. If you want to go to the university, you have to write it, uh, 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 yes, signature the paper. Yes, after the university five years, I will work in Hungary. And because you don't, you cannot start the university without this paper. And I just tell you the one thing: how they kill the, exactly the good life here. It's not money, this is idea. They start to centralize the culture, what is meaning, like in the socialism or like this. Then they said, what does it mean, the national culture? And they start the censorized uh, style, what is incredible. So we have a lot of speech about this uh, system because they have no other place, so it's uh, impossible to say free things, impossible. Now we have no future in Hungary. We have no uh, way, just that we are living like day by day. But my parents lived in the communism, they somehow survived. I was born there and a lot of other people too were born in the communism and uh, art survived during this dictatorship and uh, maybe I art will survive this dictatorship also. Many people became uh, activists, not in the official meaning, but uh, in a way in Hungary since 2010, only by going to protests, like weekly. And yeah, it's a form of political activism. Uh, but um, I think if you walk around in the city and you visit Aurora, which is one of the centers of some leftish activist young um, people, which for the first set it's a pub, but it's really a center of many valuable uh, initiatives, festivals, and uh, movements, and uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, that's that's where things are born. A lot of things that that can give the people tools to change or believe. Uh, yeah, being a civilian and being independent—that's what. Um, that that is what a, a possible political answer to be. So you don't have to be a part of a party, but. Um, uh, it's also one attempt of the government, just like in Russia, to to weak, to make uh, the civilian organizations weaker. So it's it's really important now to to stand for them and to to support or or to become one or to underline your uh, your being a civilian. Inspiring times. <laughs> so somehow. Strange, but for me it's very inspiring what's happening because it's out of out of ratio, out of um, out of 
my my expectations. Like even a couple of years ago, I haven't expected that something like this is happening, and it's it's just so interesting how how quickly it can become normal. This this craziness, this absurdity. Um, but it's it gives I think it gives a lot of possibility to just to just to just do something else, to do something really different, to to find ways to deal with it and it's in its radicality, it's somehow honest. It's like it's it it is it is what it is, you it doesn't really want to seem like a normal democracy. It it just it just seems it's just really obvious what it is. It's um it's it's an authoritarian system. It's a very centralizing, very unfree system, and you can bravely just just make your own statement to it and and try to be radical and and not just and not just smooth. So um, I think it's it's a big challenge to work within it because in a way you are of course part of it, but as you as you don't really get any support and any anything from it, it's also a chance for you to find really other ways. Like Musi, for example, it found its way to be completely uh, independent of, of all these things, like really self-sustaining. It's a big, it's a big factory, it's a big, big difficult project, but somehow it managed, managed to be free. And also I think artists still have the possibility to, to do this. It's difficult, but... What should I say about politics? It's in a way really similar to what's happening everywhere in Europe. It's just, it's, it's a, maybe it's, it's also a possible scenario for, for Western Europe. So what can happen in the future? It's like like a crazy future for, uh, for them. It's like a time capsule. <laughs> But you can, you can build, you can build something within it or with it.